Colorado's new law doesn't allow just for abortion of uh, viable infants, uh, literally up until crowning, up until birth. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, but they, the arguments, they say that there's, they, I mean, it's eugenicists all over again. They're, the social, moral, economic benefits of not having kids. So this is one of the things that they actually passed. And they also, there's a couple of really good write-ups about this. The new law that they have, they say pregnant individuals, they use that phrase. The words woman and female, women have been entirely erased from the bill which I think is, hi, how sexist are you? Woman and female don't appear once. Wow. And so they signed it. It's state law. It's abortion under any circumstance until the baby crowns. Right up until birth. Now, here's what's even, I mean, there's even, I, it, there's, there's more even with this. So California is proposing a law, this is wild, I'm pulling up this text, where mothers and, uh, I mean, they can, you can have abortions up till birth, but then up to seven days after birth without criminal consequence called perinatal death. And that is, uh, it was amended in the assembly March 17th, 2022. And that is, it's a uh, California assembly bill number 2223. And it actually says this, quote, notwithstanding any other law, a person shall not be subject to civil or criminal liability or penalty or otherwise deprived of their rights based on the actions or omissions with respect to their pregnancy or actual potential or alleged pregnancy outcome, including miscarriage, stillbirth, abortion, or perinatal death. And that is defined by the World Health Organization as, quote, here's the definition, perinatal death or period. That's up to uh, from just 22 completed weeks gestation lasting through seven days after birth. Wow. What in the world? What in the world is going on? So, yeah, they passed this bill. Oh, they're there. Well, this is there. It's proposed in California. The California Assembly passed the bill. There's still other steps. So it's still a proposal. It's not a law. It's not signed into law like Colorado's wide range sweeping their their legislation. Here's the thing that I always that I always see that comes up for discussion, which is sen it's nonsensical because everyone's like, oh, the life of the mother, the life of the mother. That's OK. Abortion is a separate entire n procedure. It's murder, but, you know, it's a separate procedure. We're ta we're being very clinical here. And you don't. Abortion is not a technique that is used in order to save the life of the mother. And there's been a lot of stuff that's been written about this. And we've talked about this before also because people, I, I mean, this is a decision that I can't believe it goes this long and people don't make this decision. They, they're, I mean, oh my gosh. It's a set of procedures designed to specifically end a life. It is entirely apart from the actions that doctors take to save the life of the mother. And by the way, those procedures are never, do you realize how dangerous the techniques that they use for abortions are and the life-threatening infections that they introduce that DNA and labor that's never that's no that's and there's so many because of the technological advances where if there's something that comes up later on in a pregnancy where you don't have to you don't have to have a DNA you don't have to have any of that you you don't you don't have to you evacuate the uterus. I mean, it's just as crazy that we're having this conversation. Of course, we also are talking about people who can't even define what a woman is. So, of course, if you can't define what a woman is, how in the hell are you going to talk about these procedures saving a mom's life, like with ectopic pregnancies or, you know, having an abortion, which is not health at all. It's not related to health care. This is and all the way up until birth. Doctors don't don't. That's not how medicine works. I mean, this it's the medical judgment for that. That's not a medical judgment. That's an insane judgment. And physicians don't operate that way. There was a really interesting, it's American Association of Pro-Life Obstet Obstetricians and Gynecologists. They have like thousands of members and they had this huge statement that they published where they were talking about how that excuse is so overwrought and not even based in science. Because 
the idea that an infant may not survive post-delivery does not justify intentionally ending the life of said child prior to delivery. And there are so many things at the doctor's fingertips to, to use. And it goes into a deep dive. I'm going to include this in your email newsletter. It goes into a deep dive, but um, it's incredibly informative. Skilled physicians save lives, period. I mean, it's, it is, it's like this is um, like a, using leeches to bleed people, using that excuse to justify taxpayer-funded, which it is, abortion on demand is inexcusable. Mm-hmm.